Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Giant Machines 2017. Let's continue on our playthrough. Now, you may remember the last episode, we did the hydraulic shovel arm uh, to knock down an ice wall and get some uranium samples, so we're not really sure what we're going to do today. But we'll move forward with the missions, and of course, today we will announce the winners of free keys uh, for this game. As you remember, last week we did announce a drawing that will be held today so that is what we are going to do first let's see what we got to do average day at work looks like we're headed back to saskatchewan canada to do a little uranium mining so let's get started with it and see what's up we have found some very high quality uranium ore in these mountains we can start the standard mining procedures now all right let's get to doing a little mining start by inserting the battery into the haul truck then set the proper voltage and reset all the fuses. All right, we can do that. So we'll go ahead and grab a battery here and we'll head over to the haul truck. I guess this is the standard practice now from here on out in the game, because uh, the first time we used a haul truck, we never had to do all this. We just jumped in it, ran with it. Uh, but now I guess now we're, since they've introduced the whole battery thing, uh, we're gonna have to do the whole battery in the equipment thing. Um, from the word go all right so that can't be where we go uh let's see does this look like of course we have to drop the battery to open the door which is like we're gonna break it all right so the battery's in uh then we got to play the little switch game here and decide what switches we throw so we'll go switch that's not enough that's not enough that's not enough. That's not enough. There we go. So we had to basically throw every single switch. All right. So we got to get all of these working now. So, nope, that ain't it. That ain't it. It's like a little puzzle you got to figure out here, though. I've never seen breakers that do this in real life. Oh, is that all green? Aha, we're good. Get in the haul truck and head on over to the excavation point. Yeah, I've never seen breakers that actually work like that, where all of them, where it throws like sets of them at one time. So that's pretty, I guess, you know, it's a puzzle, so it makes a game more interesting. All right, so we got to move over to the site that we're going to be working from. As always, we hit uh, control to bring up our controls. X starts the engine. I always turn the radio off as uh, normal, and we'll turn the handbrake off with the space bar. And we will get rolling. Well, as we do, I want to thank everybody who uh, registered for the drawing for this week. Uh, for the keys to this game. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the game. And um, it's a lot of fun, i got to say. I've enjoyed playing it. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Do you enjoy a game? Does it uh, give you entertainment? And uh, I've been really impressed with Giant Machines. I have to be honest with you guys. And uh, thanks for all the comments that you guys wrote. Uh, appreciate that. I thought we'd do something different by getting you guys a comment on the game other than just saying, give me the game. Um, so appreciate all the comments. So basically what I did was I took all of those comments. I took the names, put them down on a piece of paper, and then put a uh, number right next to it. And then used a random number generator to pick the winners. The numbers were uh, 7, 8, and 12. And the winners became Knight7234, uh, Nelson Melbourne, and, uh, or Malbone, and then Kevin McClay. Those were our three winners uh, of the keys. So guys, if you're watching the video today, if you would, jump on Facebook or on Discord. Send me a private message uh, with your name and a little bit about yourself and where you want me to send your key. Obviously, if you contact me on Discord, I'm going to send it to you on Discord. Uh, and uh, if you select Facebook option, I'll just send it to you on Facebook. But yeah, just get back with me. Uh, let me know who you are, and I will get you your key. All right, so let's continue on here. But congratulations to those guys. If you did win, I am so sorry. I wish I could give everybody a key. Uh, but I do want to thank the guys from Playways, especially Cuba, 
uh, for getting us the keys and giving those to us to help promote the game. And um, yeah, again, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And we'll do more giveaways out in the future. I'm sure you remember how to start the hydraulic excavator. The battery is already plugged in. The rest is in your hands. Alrighty, so I guess that was a good enough parking job there. So now that the lay beer is parked in the proper spot, <laughs> since we didn't pay for the license, and yeah, uh, we'll jump over here into the T-Rex and we'll do a little bit of mining. So that means we got to come in here, open up this door. Battery's already in place. We already have voltage. Uh, we do have to reset the circuits here. And we have to raise up the stairs. And that will get us up and running. But yeah, thanks to the guys at Playway for uh, donating a few keys. And um, right, like I said, we'll do some more giveaways here on the channel. And uh, those won't be the last keys we give away. So if you didn't get a copy of it, nah, don't worry. We'll give some more stuff away in the future. All right, into the seat we go. And again, it's same same control, so X starts the engine. Use the hydraulic excavator to load 250 tons of uranium into the haul truck. 250 tons, you got it, Tex. All right, so radio gets turned off. Even though I've got the music turned off, I don't, again, I don't like that headline banner popping up up there all the time, so I'll get rid of it. I'll go ahead and take the parking brake off. I'm gonna switch over to operator mode using tab. We'll go ahead and raise the arm up and we'll curl it down at the same time. All right, so we'll start moving, move forward a little bit here. We can go to the outside look so we can see what's going on. Actually, I probably need to lower that arm just a little bit. so we can get an idea of where we're at driving up here. There we go. Pull a little bit forward. And uh, when we get up close to the wall here. Oh, there we go. Got a little dust particle. Let's me know we're in place. So we should be able to start shoveling a little bit out of here. have uranium popcorn there we go get a full bucket load there raise that arm up a little bit and then we'll rotate over and dump her in the haul truck all right so a lot of folks have been asking me where I've been the last uh, few days I haven't done any videos hadn't done any live streams in a week um, Basically, guys, I've been really sick, and uh, by really sick, I mean really sick. Um, and basically, I have my good, good moments and a whole lot of bad moments. I'm gonna try and get some videos done in the good moments, um, but as there are more bad moments than good moments, uh, please be understanding if you don't see any videos, um, and especially live streams. The live streams are really demanding because it requires that I pay attention for several hours at a time and uh, there are days when I just don't have I there are some days when I can't even see the computer screen um, for more than five minutes so um, I don't want to get into a whole lot of what's going on but I'm just I've got some health issues and the medication they've got me on is really messing me up and uh, it's messing me up pretty bad. And, uh, I've never felt this bad in my entire life. So, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully things get worked out and I can get back into the whole live stream thing. Um, but I am going to try to get some videos recorded and get back in the swing. The, the last few days I've just been absolutely miserable. And, um, um, curled up in bed. Today's the first day I've, I've really felt somewhat decent and um, I don't know how long it's going to last so I can just do what I can do and 
and go with it, but I did drop a note last night on Discord just letting people know what was up and why I wasn't going to be around or why I hadn't been around and, um, you know, I hope it gets better. I really do. I enjoy doing what I do and and playing games is, is definitely a lot of fun, um, but it's been so bad the last, well, week that, um, that I haven't even felt like playing any video games, and, um, and that's saying something right there, you know? Alright, so let's push this arm out and kind of lower it at the same time. This game would be really awesome if you had some sort of controller support so that you didn't have to do mouse and keyboard. Because you need like a fluid motion on this to where you can go up with the arm and down with the, like, up with the outer arm, but uh, down with the main boom when you're making that that scoop there so that you get a really good, strong scoop out of it. And then, you know, as you rotate, you could do more than one action at a time. It would be nice. Uh, it would have been cool if they could put some sort of controller support in. Even if it's just for an Xbox controller or a gamepad, you know, um, controller of some sort. Uh, it would have been really, really cool. That would be my biggest complaint about the game. Other than that, I have a lot of fun playing it. Um, I really do. I enjoy this game sitting down and just playing it I uh, y'all have seen all the gameplay that I've done for the most part with it because well I'm just playing it with you guys but um, I would have a lot more fun if it had controller support all right scoot up just a little bit so we can dig a little bit deeper into here and try and get this arm a little bit lower switching cab and we'll watch from in cab view here. Looks like our arm is moving around quite a bit though. Hopefully we're not trying to cut too much. There we go. Go ahead and lift the rest of the way up. There we go. One more left, and we'll turn and dump this over here. See what the first person perspective is like. It's really hard to see what you're doing because of how big everything is. You know? I think I need to raise that bucket up a little bit and then curl. 206, 223, we got everything dumped out of there, so 223 tons in there, one more, 231 tons, one more good load, and we should have this, alright, so let's bring that arm down, 2 if you really tell anything with that screen there, Looks like that's about where we were before. See, I really can't tell anything about how low the arm is from here. It really is hard to to play this in first person. You'd want to do it in first person, but it's just about impossible. Like, if I'm in first person, I have no way of telling where that arm's at, elevation-wise. Yeah, it's just not there. All right, lift that on up. Get a big old scoop of rock in there, or ore. And we should have enough now to fill up the, the haul truck and take it to wherever it's gonna need to go. And as Tech said, we only needed 250 ore. I do the love truck is loaded beautifully.
All right, you can take it back to the base. You know what? Just go and get one more load of ore. It'd be a shame if anything spilled out during the drive. Uh huh. All right, so we'll go ahead and get one more load of ore. Which, I mean, we're already at 290. Let's load some of that steam off there, or some of that pressure off. Watch us break the truck or something and come back to the... Well, that was one big mistake. Really not sure what we're using this uranium for. But, anyways... Yeah, there's really no way for me to know. Like, I'm scared I'm putting the thing too low to the ground and gonna break the arm uh, when I use it. Because that is a thing, you know. I told you guys about that in the last episode. If you're not careful, if you put too much torque on the arm or too much flex on the arm, uh, you can break it and then you're in a world of hurt. So you don't want to do that. Yeah, but here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to reach reach with this thing you know and be able to have fluid motion with the bucket and everything at one time I think that would be so cool they're missing a huge 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 opportunity with this game by not having controller support built into it all right so let's raise that up and curl just a little bit Go ahead and open up that bucket and dump that last little bit out in there. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and raise our arm a little bit more. Close down that shovel. And then I'll go ahead and lower this down. There we go. And we're going to put the parking brake on, shut off our engine, and then we'll jump out and we'll go do the next phase of this. Which means we got to open this up, and we got to put our, uh, put down our ramp. And I'm guessing we should shut everything off on this thing because, um, it has battery drain and we don't want to, uh, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and head on out. 362 tons uh, is what we've got in here. That should be plenty. Everything's green on here. All right, so let's go ahead and get the motor started. Turn that radio back off. And we will make our way out of here to the unload point. And we will deposit this off. So the one thing I do want to point out, remember when we did the very first episode of this and we had some physics issues with the shovel? There's been several patches that they've put out uh, before they actually put out the full release version of this. And I haven't had any more issues with frame rapage. So I do want to point that out. I almost want to go back and redo that very first uh, thing to see if um, if the frame rate issue was there. I did happen to see some other folks had done uh, videos and have the same little bit of frame rapage issue um, with it. Man, that's so funny. Look at that ore sliding around in the back of this thing. That is pretty funny. It does, you know, like I said, it does have physics in it. It's just not uh, some little hokey little image that's back there. Each individual piece is a thing, so that's kind of cool. So I do also, this is a little bit more realistic as in how a mining operation would be. There's no paved road that you're running up. I mean, though it looks like you're in a quarry, I guess. But yeah, in a real operation, this is how it would be. There would be no paved roads or anything else like that to drive on. It would all be... 
just a just a quarry road or slag road, gravel road, something like that. That's what this uh, vehicle would operate on. Alright, let's slide all that back into there. There we go. Probably back up a little bit. Pump all that coming into there. Seems that our first container of uranium is ready for transportation. Yes, yes. Or are we going to transport it with a big wheel? Anyways. All right, so that's our mission for today. We are done. And that'll wrap up this episode. I want to keep it kind of short, guys, because like I said, I don't know how I'm going to feel today. And I've got a few things I want to get done. But I did want to get uh, the winners of our contest announced. So congratulations, Knight7234, uh, uh, Nelson Malbone, and uh, Kevin McClay. Congratulations, guys. You pick up a copy of uh, Giant Machines 2017. And uh, we'll continue on with our playthrough in our next episode. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you when I see you. Uh, until then, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I hope you consider giving it a like, maybe even sharing it with your friends. It does help me out a tremendous amount and is greatly appreciated. Also, leave some comments down below. That's really the only way I can gauge if you guys are enjoying what's being put out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want daily notifications. I try to do a new video each and every day. Also, if you want to stay in touch with me and find out what's going on, our social links are down in the bottom left-hand corner. Twitter is where I usually announce schedule changes, live streams, and new video releases. Facebook's a great way to get in touch with me if you have any questions to ask. And, of course, I am trying to get to 1,000 followers on Google+, Plus, which I know I'll probably be old and gray before that happens. But if you can jump over there and follow me, it would be super awesome. So if you like today's video, there's a whole lot more content on the channel. I hope you'll browse through it, find something to keep yourself entertained until the next video or live stream. Speaking of live streams, I try to do them nightly around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. See you soon.